Hi guys, welcome back to another uh, art therapy video prompt. Um, today we are going to be creating our own scarecrows to keep things um, that we don't want um, around us away, um, whether those be scary things or negative things or uh, just things that we don't want in our lives. Um, so these scarecrows are all gonna look different um, for each and every one of us. Um, but I thought it would be kind of a fun fall slash Halloween prompt. So uh, here we go. So we're gonna actually go through drawing the uh, the scarecrow together um, and then we'll do a background and talk about um, the things that it's gonna keep away after that. All right, um, so let's do this. All right, so let's start with um, the head of our scarecrow. Um, again, everything that I am suggesting is just a suggestion. Um, so if you want to do yours a certain way, feel free to do it um, however you like. Um, so the head, I'm just going to do kind of a round shape. And your scarecrow, um, it can take up however much space you want. Um, mine's going to take up most of the page is going to be relatively large and if you have an eraser nearby that's always helpful in case uh, you need to kind of fix mistakes or erase things that you don't like and I know um, a lot of a lot of us get kind of anxious about drawing their own things so again this isn't about making something that's perfect <clears throat> it's about trying, uh, trying something new, um, and just doing your best, right? Um, so you've got a round kind of shape for the head, and then I also added like these little squiggles at the bottom for um, where it's usually uh, tied or frayed. Um, so you guys can add that if you like to. Um, and then you can also add a face at this point, or if you want your um, scarecrow to be wearing a hat, <coughs> sorry, or um, any sort of accessories on his face, um, go ahead and you can add those to him now. So I'm going to probably add a little bit of a hat to my scarecrow. band around the hat and then you can do your the eyes you can do real eyes you can do kind of cross stitched eyes however you want it to look So there's mine. Ears can be spooky, it can be uh, friendly looking, however you want. All right, so we've got the head. Again, you can always go back and add things if you feel like you need to add anything. So now we're gonna do uh, the shirt, okay? So the arms are gonna come, typically how a scarecrow is structured, is there's a pole in the back or a long piece of wood and then um, sometimes there's one going this way, so my arms are going to be going straight out to the side. I'll show you. Okay, kind of like that kind of a shape. Okay, and again, it can be a specific style of shirt if you've got 
um, a style in mind that you want it to kind of be wearing, I might do kind of a plaid shirt. And then you can do patches on it if you want patches on the shirt, because lots of scarecrows have kind of sewn up clothing, um, old clothes. But again, it can be super fancy, it can be old and worn out, however you want your scarecrow to look. Okay, and then also I'm going to have bits of hay um, or twigs or whatever that may be coming out of his arm, because that's usually what would be stuffing his arm. If you want yours stuffed with something else, that's fine. like that. Now we're going to go into the pants. Again, you can have a little bit of hay coming out of the belly too, if, if you like. Um, so you can do whatever kind of pants you want your scarecrow to be wearing. And then again, you can have hay coming out of the bottom of where it would be filling the legs or leaves or whatever it is you would choose to stuff your scarecrow with. so far. Alright, so now you're going to draw a little bit of a pole or a wooden stick coming out the bottom. That's what he's um, attached to. So again, you can make it detailed or not detailed. Totally up to you guys. kind of the rough drawing of your scarecrow done. I'm going to give you a bit of time now just to go ahead, color it, add extra details. <clears throat> Again, it can be as colorful or as creepy or as um, fun as you want it to be. It's kind of whatever the vibe is that you're feeling from it. Um, but go ahead and take some time now to color it, decorate it, um, and we'll come back and continue on after that.
All right, so once your scarecrow is all colored and decorated how you want it, um, I'm gonna give you a bit of time now to do a background for him. So where is this scarecrow loca located? Uh, it can be the typical field. Um, so you can have like a uh, canola field or a wheat field or whatever, wherever you want it, or it can be in the backyard or in the sky or in the ocean, wherever it is that you want to put your scarecrow. Um, go ahead and create a bit of a background for him. Um, doesn't have to be too detailed. Remember, we're still going to do a bit of writing on here. Um, but give him a little bit of stuff around him to kind of picture where he's at. Um, and then we'll come back and we will talk about uh, things that he's going to keep away. All right, so now at the very top of your page, um, if you would like, um, I wrote, my scarecrow keeps away, dot, dot, dot. Um, and then I'm gonna fill this space here or whatever space you have in your background, um, things that you want your scarecrow to keep away. Um, these can be very um, real or logical things like scarecrows keep away birds, they, they keep, um, livestock or um like the fields and stuff uh from getting eaten by other animals or getting destroyed um or it can be more relevant to your life things that you want to keep um out of your life things you, that you just don't need um so that can be things like a negative attitude or bad weather or um people that treat you poorly um anything like that okay so I'm going to leave it up to you guys to make it as specific to you or as general as you like. Um, but go ahead and start thinking of things that your scarecrow can keep away uh, and write them wherever they fit on the top of your or wherever on, on your page. Okay.
All right, you guys, so now we have a lovely scarecrow that is there to keep you safe, to keep you happy, to keep you healthy, to keep all of the bad things away, whatever those bad things might be. Um, and yeah, that's our prompt for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys again on Monday. Have a great weekend.